In this video, we're going to continue our discussion on graphing linear inequalities. And um, we're going to do an example that is rather complicated, so we're going to go through it uh, fairly slowly. Let's have a look at this. This is graph the solution set for this linear inequality. Well, the first thing you probably notice is that this doesn't look anything like what we saw in the first two videos. And that is because it is quite different for several different reasons. One, it's written in set notation. So you see these curly little brackets here. So if I maybe highlight here, see these little curly brackets. Everything in between here is referring to a set. And you can use set notation to define relations, and you should be fairly comfortable with that from Math 10. Uh, here we have our ordered pair. So this is all ordered pairs, x, y, right? such that, that's what that line means, such that x plus 1 is greater than 3. Now here we have something interesting happening right here. What we have here is we have a restriction on the domain and on the range. And I sort of alluded to that in the first two videos, that that can happen and that changes things. So we have here that x is an element of z and y is an element of z. z here is representing the set of integers. Okay, so the set of integers in the textbook for Foundations of Math 11, they are going to use i instead of z. Uh, I am using z because that is what you are going to see more often than not uh, in, in, in mathematics. I, I've only ever seen uh, i used for integers in BC textbooks, so uh, I want you to be familiar with this notation. So the set of integers... Okay, so we have a restriction on our domain and range. But we're going to start the problem the exact same way. I have x plus 1 greater than 3. Let's pull this out. What does that mean? x plus 1 is greater than 3, and you might be thinking, where's the y? Well, there is no y, which means in this case our boundary line is going to be a vertical line. And when I solve for x here, or I uh, isolate x, I simply get x is greater than 2. Now, we have to draw our boundary line in a very, very special way this time. Because not only are we not including the boundary line, so you might think, well, I'm going to use a dashed line. But we're also not including answers that are not integers. Okay? So really what we want to be looking at is we want to be looking at drawing open dots. I'm going to try to, my best to draw open dots here. Okay. On the line where, where it says x equals 2. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just put a little arrow to indicate that that's sort of what's happening in, in either direction here. Okay. Well, of course, I, I can't sit there and, and draw an, an infinite number of dots. I, I could have continued on in either direction, but, you know, for the sake of, of time, uh, I, I won't, but when you're doing your homework problems, perhaps you'll, you'll want to extend this as, at least as far as your, um, your plane goes here. And with respect to the solution region, we are looking at uh, solutions to the right of this line, right being the positive direction, right? So 3 is greater than 2, 4 is greater than 2. Okay, but that's it's, it's pretty, um, pretty obvious, fairly obvious. But here, I can't just go ahead and color this in. Here, what I need to do is I need to draw solid dots for ordered pairs where x and y are both integers. And those are going to be found at the intersection of the uh, grid lines here. Okay. And again, you're probably not going to want to be going ahead and, and drawing every single dot for... Uh, for all of these, but I mean, if you, if you wanted to do a very, very, very nice graph, that, that is what you would do, and you would extend these all the way up here and, and all the way down here. Uh, but in the interest of time, I'm not going to do that. I mean, you can do that for your homework questions. And this is what is called a discrete solution region. Okay, my points aren't connected. Okay, this isn't, uh, this isn't continuous. So the solution region here is not continuous. This is a discrete solution region. Uh, so the very important things, okay, so to review, the boundary line here, 
okay, is not actually dash. We're going to have open dots on here because of the restriction on the domain and range. And in our solution region, we're going to have closed dots saying we are including those points, but we're not coloring the whole solution region in, okay? And that is how you would graph a linear inequality uh, not the solution set for linear inequality where you had a restriction on the domain and range.